All right, welcome back. So as you can see, I've erased what I was uh, kind of like the overage, if you want to call it that. So it still looks kind of like a sphere ball floating on a table. And so let's fix that up. So we're going to go back to this table here. And then I'm going to go back to my... My brush, and I know there's presets, but at the moment I'm not using those. I know. Okay, and so let's right click, grab this. That color, are you? No. Anyways, I don't want that exact color, so I guess this works. So I'm going with a little bit darker value there. And my opacity is low. And so I am just kind of, I'm clicking on the table here. Let's go a little bit darker. Now I'm trying to go back and forth where a shadow would have been. So I know there's another, uh, several ways to do this, but I am still a traditional artist even though I'm working on a digital uh, medium. And so Here I go on a digital medium, doing it my way. It's going to be the darkest up here. I see we can always go back a bit and try to blend. And it's, it's a ball, so I'm trying to have a ball shape here. And we can even get it kind of fade out a little bit more or we can blend I thought about doing that this time but I think we'll go blending later so there we have that uh, we can also zoom in a bit and let's see if I can add we'll shrink the brush down a bit And then we'll go towards my eraser, my friend. Just hmm. make small corrections. I know this isn't perfect, but I think this video is probably getting long already. In Russian or in several chunks okay so you get the picture okay so let's zoom out a bit um, another thing to help this look real we're gonna go up to the wall almost done oh we're gonna go over here yeah that looks good change this a little bit bigger change the opacity The eraser tool still. <laughs> uh, that was a horrible laugh too. We'll go back. We'll switch down to my brush again. There we go. We're getting some of this.
And so I used the colors I used because I was trying to work with complementary colors to make one be pushed or pulled and complement the other one, kind of accentuate the colors. Let's smooth this out a little bit. I also chose a dark background here so this would pop. Now I guess I could blend this better and make it a little more smoother, but and I could mess with this all day long. And then I get uh, on my erase tool. And Right now my zoom tool wasn't working, now it is. Grab this and move it. Gotta hit the erase button. Change the size here. Yeah, I forgot that step earlier. There we go. Oh, a little too close, not close enough. Small corrections. Well, I got my opacity like wicked low. So I'm going to erase very little at a time. So that's a boo boo. But that's okay. We're all on this journey of art together, learning. Okay, anywho, so I got that. And I'm going to hopefully back out okay there we go so we have our ball we have some shadow we have some light uh, we could do a lot more with this but this is a good good place for now one more thing I want to do I want to add one more layer and I'll move this layer up all right I'm back I'm not sure what the issue was but I've uh, changed this to normal and I'm on layer and that's overlay I go up to my pattern Figure out which one I want. Then go to edit and fill pattern. Fills my pattern all over the screen. And then I can go with this opacity here and scale it back. And I have a scroll wheel on my mouse that makes this really simple. And I think that makes it really believable. So there we go. If we wanted to, I could go over here and I could try something else here. Um, there's lots of different things we could try. And I'm sure you'll experiment, but I prefer, and I think it's best we use uh, overlay. So then I'm going to go over to layer, just like in Photoshop, flatten. Flatten it, file, save as, we'll put, um, painting, remember you have to do .kra, I'm not sure if that's just a Mac issue, but I believe so, and then I'll drop down to, I'll just throw my desktop, bada boom, bada bing, you're done, um, Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned a lot. Please uh, subscribe, like, and uh, leave me some feedback. I really would uh, appreciate that. Uh, thanks again for watching.